Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Haley, and this is my crochet vlog. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Today we're gonna be doing a tutorial on the website Stitch Fiddle. Um, basically what this is, is a free service, a free website that lets you make graphs out of pictures. So you could use a picture off of like your digital camera or off of, um, you know, your email or your iPhone or saved from Google, anything like that. Um, today we are going to be using a picture from Google and I know in the crochet community there has been a lot of talk lately about content theft. So, um, I did do my research before I started this video. Um, basically Stephanie from It's Crochet O'Clock has been talking about this, so I just wanted to put a disclaimer at the beginning. Um, she says in her video that I'm going to link down below so you can refer back to that, that you may create a pattern of a licensed character, character or trademark logo to use for personal use, but you may not sell the pattern or finished items. So today I'm going to be using a logo of a sports team, but I'm not going to sell the pattern or the finished product. The finished product is only for use in my own home. Um, and this is based off of U.S. law, so if you're not in the U.S., um, like, I know Australia this doesn't ap apply to, but you might want to check your country's laws and uh, just refer back to Stephanie's video or use your own uh, research avenues to see what the copyright laws are for you. So, um, this is a free service, but there is a premium option and it's kind of vague on what's offered in that premium option, but we're not going to do that today. So, let's get started. We're going to go to stitchfiddle.com. I'll put it up on the screen so you can see and all that stuff. So I am logged in, so mine looks like this. If you're not, if you don't have an account, it'll ask you to make an account and all that stuff. And we're gonna go to create new. So what's gonna pop up is knitting, crochet, cross stitch, or other. I'm not sure what other is, but we are gonna be doing crochet today. And it's gonna give you all these options. You have corner to corner, crochet with colors, which is like a graph gan or tapestry. Then we have Tunisian, free form, which is kind of fun and fillet crochet or fillet I'm not sure so but um, I have been working on a single crochet graph can so that's what I'm gonna show you today because that's what I'm most familiar with so we're gonna click on that maybe okay and then it's gonna say do you want to start with an empty one so um, it's gonna have all these squares that pop up and you can kind of paint in it and make your own logo or whatever or from a picture and we're gonna be using a picture so then it says click to choose picture so if it's already saved on your computer if you've uploaded it from your iPhone or whatever you can do that or you can go to Google so I'm gonna go to Google and you're gonna search for whatever you want your picture to be so I'm gonna use the logo of the school that I go to and we're gonna put it into Google and go to images it's best to select um, a picture that doesn't have a bunch going on because the more complex your picture is um, the bigger your, your finished item is going to turn up and the more, um, color changes and stuff you're going to have. So I'm going to just save this. Oh, let me go back and show you how to do that. Okay. So we put in what we wanted to search for, find a nice picture that you like. I'm going to go with this one, right click and it'll pop up all this stuff, save picture as, and I like to do mine over here in pictures. This is all the um, documents on my computer. You can see there's already some in there. We're just gonna save it as whatever. You can rename it or whatever. So then we're gonna go back and choose picture. So remember we saved it in pictures, so we're gonna go back to that. And I already have one from earlier. So we're gonna use this one and open and it'll pop up. So the first thing that we see is this square here and it looks a little blurry and I will show you why that is. Remember when I said that the more complex your picture is, the bigger your work is gonna be? I will just show you what I mean by that. So let me, right now it's at 100 stitches though. So that's 100 stitches wide and 100 rows tall. So let me turn it into 50 stitches. So this is 50 wide and 50 tall. You saw that it got a little blurry when we did that. See, it's it's kind of yucky we don't really like that so let me show you if we go to 300 stitches which I know um, it won't let you go above 300 if you have the free version which is weird but you can see how nice it is when we go to 300 stitches but we are not gonna be doing that today we're gonna go over here to size 
size calculator. So this is gonna show you based off of your sample swatch that you're gonna make and how big you want your finished object to be, um, how many stitches and stuff. It's gonna do all the work for you. So I already did a sample swatch. This is just a regular um, worsted weight acrylic yarn and mine is four inches by four inches. So I'm gonna put that in here. Four inches, four inches. Stitch count, it is 22 inches wide, 22 stitches wide by 21 rows high. And then finished object. So um, since it will not let us go above 300 on um, the free version, you could kind of get away with doing a border around it or if you're gonna do um, several little panels and put them all together, you could get away with doing a smaller one, but I'm just gonna do this baby blanket size. I just found this chart off of Google. So it says that a baby blanket is 30 inches by 40 inches. So we're gonna go back and I wanna make mine longer than it is tall. So I'm gonna make mine 40 inches wide by 30 inches tall. And see it automatically changed my stitch count over there. Okay, and then there's a gauge thing here. Um, some other information down there. We're gonna click create chart. And then it's going to ask us again what we're making. And then bam, there is our picture. So you can see here all that stuff that we just did. And then it's it tells you your gauge and then yarn colors. So as you can see in my logo, we have white, black, gray, and a gold color. So I don't need 10 colors. I'm just going to show you what happens if I only do two colors. See, it turned kind of... We don't want that. So I'm gonna do, I think, four colors on mine. Yeah, so we have the white, the black, the gray, and the gold. So I'm all set to go on mine. I'm gonna click save. Okay, the first thing that we see when we do save is this kind of white graph here with all these grid lines. And I wanna quick point out these numbers at the top here and along the side. So those are the stitch numbers. So um, when you're going along, just going to show you, you start at the very bottom right corner with stitch one, stitch one, and you're going to go back and forth like this. Or if you're doing a corner to corner, you're going to go like that. So that makes it easier to count. And I want to point out that the gray lines is a five by five square and the black lines is a 10 by 10 square. So I'm going to zoom out here so that you can see what we're working with. Okay, so there is my graph. And you can see it's kind of um, got some spots in it where it's kind of messed up. And there's also this big trademark logo. And I definitely don't want that on my graph when I go to crochet. So I'm gonna go to edit and edit chart. So the first thing that we notice is that these colors here pop up and that's all of our yarn colors that we chose before we picked four colors. So that's all of that there. If you had, you know, six, it'd be way down here, but whatever. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to do these. So my colors at my school are a little yellow, a little gold. I don't really like the dark gold, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to go to color. So here is where you pick your colors from your yarn stash. So, um, you know, if your red is a little more, a little cherry red or you're like light blush, you could, you know, change and make it match what yarn you're using. It's not gonna be exact, but it'll be a little better. So I'm gonna pick a color that's more yellow than gold. You can also do symbols if you don't wanna do, um, ooh, okay, I don't know what that is. Um, for when you print it, like if you don't have a color printer or something like that, you could do symbols instead. So see, it changed the whole thing yellow. So I'm gonna zoom in on this TM. Oops, no I'm not, because <laughs> I'm in the wrong thing here. Okay, zoom in. And this is kind of fun. This is kind of like MS Paint where you can edit it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of all of this yucky stuff and make the graph better. So the way that I'm gonna hide this TM is I'm gonna go to the white color, which is the background color. I'm just gonna paint over it. So see, it just, it goes away. So that's a really easy way to do that. I'm gonna do this that I messed up here. And then 
going to try to fix this a little bit. Because it is computer generated, it's going to have some flaws in it. Um, that, But since it's so easy to fix, you'll be able to do that on your own. And, you know, if the colors aren't right or something or there's one sticking out here that you don't like, you can change it to how you like it. So I'm just going to show you one that I've already done. Same one, just already edited and all that stuff. All right, see, it looks very nice. There's no rough edges or anything. All the colors are filled in. So after we've done that and we made it pretty, we're gonna go to File, maybe, and all of these options here pop up. Of course you wanna save it. Um, here's that premium option that we didn't really know what it did. It was kind of vague. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick this progress tracker. So the progress tracker. Um, as you can see, this row is lit up all, you know, there's the white and the black and the yellow. Um, so when you're going along, you can see which row you're on and what comes next and all that stuff. We can zoom in on it so you can see a little better. Um, I like to physically write mine out so I know okay, I have this many whites in the row, I have this many blacks in the row, and I'll show you how I've been doing that. The one I'm currently working on, I just go through and I say, okay, I'm on row 25, I have 40 reds, I have five blacks, 27 reds, five grays, yada yada like that. Um, or you can use this pro progress tracker, or if we go back, we can actually print the whole thing. So it's gonna have you download, and all that stuff you can do it how you like it but we're gonna um, download it and then uh, once we do that you can print it to your computer you know however like you do that and it's gonna come out different little graphs so see there's the top top right corner there um, but I'm gonna show you my graph how it looks when I printed it so here's one that I did earlier this is the one that I'm currently working on and here is how it printed so this is two separate pieces of paper and I just taped them together and this is just a little section of it um, and you can see the little grid lines it has numbers as well but you can't see very well on the camera but you can see all the lines so um, as you're working you can mark off with a pencil especially if you're doing corner to corner um, marking off with a pencil helps a lot, but um, you can see the grid lines and all that stuff. Remember, here's like, here's five, here's ten, all that stuff. So that helps a lot, but um, I really like printing off the graph. But mine, when I did it, was 21 pages, so that kind of gives you an idea of how big it's going to be when you print it. And all that stuff. So, um, that was my tutorial on how to use that. Obviously, there's a lot of other features, and there are other YouTube tutorials on how to do some of the other stuff. Um, I didn't really see one on this exact thing, but, um, you know, if you're having trouble with a knitting one or whatever, um, you can maybe search and try to find one for that. But um, I've used this one now. I used a corner-to-corner, -corner and I'm using my... Um, my single crochet one. Um, it is a really easy to use website. I like the the MS Paint aspect of it where you can just go through and fix everything that you don't want. Um, and it's totally customizable and it's free, which is the most important part, I think. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about in the video, make sure you put them in the comments. Again, if it's related to like cross stitch, I might not be able to answer it. Or like a Tunisian crochet, I might not be able to help. But if it's related to this, go ahead and put it in the comments and I'll try to get to it. And uh, leave a like if you did find this helpful. And subscribe if you want to find some more crochet stuff. And that's all I have for today. So, bye guys.